Yeah, this is the lesson that I had to watch 10 years ago. Hello everybody! Hello! Welcome back to this new video. Uh, probably the video that you're going to, to watch right now, um, it, it, I'm not the best person to, to do it because together with the left arm, the lower back has been the, the main problem in my uh, ballroom, in my career. And I spent so much energy, so much time working on it, finding the right key that worked for me because as we know, we are all different and uh, some information can work for uh, someone, but will not work for, for somebody else. And uh, this was my case. So let's make it clear and simple. Point number one, our spine has naturally four curves. Okay. We have two curves going inward and two curves going outward. Uh, we should not try to make our spine completely flat. Why? Because we will lose mobility, okay? We will limit ourselves. And to understand that, just try on the spot to, to make your lower back flat and now try to just to, to low on your leg. You, you, you find the, the limit quite easily compared to the normal curvature where you can go low as much as you want, okay? And to understand how much curvature you need in your spine to be able to move freely, you can do this exercise. Just make one step forward and now go down on your knees, okay? Here, try to stretch as much as you want, okay? Open your shoulder, your stretch, your center, okay? And this is basically the least amount of curvature that you need to be able to move, okay? Now, without changing anything, go up. I will check in the mirror. Okay, so this is, for my body, this is the least amount of curve that I need to be able to use my legs, okay? Why I say for me? Because we are all different. And uh, uh, for someone, uh, the curve of the spine is more pronounced and for others, it can be more straight. Or if you, if you can look, for example, a very skinny guy, which is like just uh, skin and bones, he is almost like, like vertical, like a stick. Instead, if you take a very um, uh, like a bodybuilder with a lot of uh, muscle mass, he has a much pronounced, much more pronounced curve. Okay. So wh why I'm telling this? Because uh, I know that uh, in ballroom dancing, we have the stereotype, the cliche that the spine of the man have to be straight and long. And I agree with that, but we have to achieve that through stretching, not through uh, flattening our lower back. Okay. And another example can be if you look at a uh, ballet dancer, okay, men or women, when they have like arabesque position, I cannot show, so I will not do it. Um, they have the upper, what we call in ballroom, upper center on the uh, standing foot, but of course they create a curve in the lower back to be able to lift the leg, okay? It could not be otherwise. So don't uh, try to uh, follow some, some idea or some words that you heard from some teacher because maybe he was referring to something else because no one teacher really wants that you straighten up your lower back. Maybe he was talking about the upper part, maybe he was talking about the, the neck, whatever, but the lower back has to be naturally with a curve. Okay. Now point number two the way you stay in contact and the way you uh, you create your common center with your partner is gonna affect your spine curve okay why i say this because if we stand in front of each other and i mean really in front of each other not like usual that we place our partner on our right side okay if we take for example a very frontal kind of contact now if i maintain my spine like in a good posture we don't have contact we can bend our knees and going to find each other still we have light and we don't have any volume between us the only way here to create volume is to go away but this is not the way i can dance because i'm totally falling to my left so what you should do in this case 
Two things, distance between your feet and the placing of your partner should be enough on the side to be able to create contact, so to stay, uh, to touch each other, but still be able, being able to create the ideal posture. In my case, and I continue to repeat, you all have to find your own way, okay? You have to look in the camera, you have to ask your teacher, uh, and it has to feel good and has to look good. Because if uh, you have only a good looking position, but you cannot move because you don't feel in balance, it's wrong. Or if you feel correct, but it looks wrong, for example, you have a hole between you or you don't have enough volume, then again, it's not correct. You have to find your own way to be able to show both comfortable and good looking balance and position and contact. So for our, for in our situation, the uh, distance that we take you know, between our feet is, uh, it's like a 10 centimeter distance in the frontal uh, plane and it's quite, uh, yeah, it's quite m more than my hand if we take in the lateral way, okay? Now we go to find the contact my center is inside but as you can see we don't have gaps and we have a good contact in our right side of the rib cage now we take hold and we okay and we are in position so this is what we found through our uh, through the hours that we spent on the dance floor and uh, the lesson with our teachers and uh, at the moment we feel quite comfortable with that okay but katya can confirm uh, many many times we had to rethink the way how we took position we had to improve our individual balance our individual posture to be able to dance because sometimes it, it was comfortable for her sometimes it was comfortable for me but only lately we are we found the way uh, that it's good for both and it looks quite okay uh, that's why I want to share with you uh, the, the experience the, 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 the way how we managed to arrive to a good uh, position, posture and balance in couple. And this is, the way, this is why at the beginning I said maybe I should not do this video because for many years I was like, uh, I had troubles finding the, the right way to stay in position and in, in a way that I was looking good in position. Now, I want to show you one, it's not an exercise, it's like a way how you can improve your posture it, it's very easy I just have to take one thing so this is simply an elastic band but we will not usually uh, we will not use like usually for our arms we will use for our center and now Decathlon is not sponsoring this video I want it just to show you that this is my Instagram account go follow me and Katja as well you found you find the, the account name at the beginning of the video so how we are going to use this elastic you hold it, you place it where you have the, um, the central part of your lower back curve, okay? So the lumbar lordosis should be the English name. Now, you do it in this way. You pull your center and you pull the elastic. So it's gonna be really tight. And now you create like a small ball, okay? Only one, it's enough. Now, when you stay in position, you feel that, stay here, sorry, I'm getting fat, okay. When you stay in position, you feel that this ball, this uh, knot that you created, is gonna give you some kind of feeling that you have to hold inside your center, not only inside, but inside and up, in the region of the diaphragm here, and this allow you to straighten up your, lowest, uh, your lower uh, back and in this way you have the perfect, in my opinion, the perfect posture to take contact and to dance because it's not completely flat as we said at the beginning but it's not, it, it doesn't allow you to completely open up your rib cage, which is the common mistake in ballroom dancing. Why is the common? Because you go to find contact or while you dance you are reaching for the I would say the biggest volume and you start to open your rib cage. In this way, you all the time feel that you have to hold inside your center and up, not only inside, but going up. So you are like stretching. And this elastic, as simple as it can 
can look, it will help you to maintain the correct posture. Okay, let me check in the mirror as well. Yeah. So, with this elastic, you will always feel, always feel that you have to hold your breath in a way. No, I'm joking, I'm not holding my breath, but I'm not relaxing. Even if I low, okay, I'm not relaxing. One way is this, the correct one. Another way would be that one. You see that the curve now, it's too much. So, you can use it. Or if you dance alone, if you're practicing alone, but as well if you're in couple, because this will, will not disturb, disturb you, the partner, uh, at all. And it's very inexpensive. It doesn't uh, take so much time to understand how it works. You simply lace it and, and you are done, okay? So, Katja, would you like, please, to, uh, to say something about the girl posture and about the lower back curve? Because, in a way, it's similar to the man, even if you have, like, much more stretched position and you are in a diagonal uh, shape. But what you can say about the lower back curve? When we talk about lady position, many girls think that they must have very strong spine muscles. But actually, it's much more important your abs. Your abs uh, support your shape. When you create this big volume, you should stretch your stomach, but at the same moment, you don't need to uh, relax this part. So you should control these muscles. It's very important, especially when we create big shapes. Just a sec. So, if we take position, And now we try to, let's dance, for example, a right lunge. Okay. I feel quite relaxed in these muscles, but with these abs, I control myself. Yeah, the way how it feels in couples is that a girl in ballroom dancing it has not to be stiff. It's not like that when we increase our volume, I feel that she's like increasing the, the tone of the, of the spine muscles becoming like more rigid. No, the way that I feel uh, dancing this kind of uh, lines, for example, is that she's all the time ready to create whatever line, whatever shape I want, because she's first of all in balance. Second, second thing is a correct place uh, with me. And third, she's like, holding herself. She's not on, uh, placing too much weight on my hand. See, she's not like uh, falling back over the head. She's all the time caring for her individual balance. And we talked about individual balance and common balance in the other video. So for me, it's like a joke to lead her and to, to create whatever picture I want. And as she said, the, um, the key is to activate the frontal muscles not blocking or becoming stiff in the back area. Uh, so these, uh, these are things that only girls know. I could not explain in a, in a better way because I know what I do as a man, but I really don't, don't know the, the every detail that uh, uh, when a girl dance has to do. So what we'd like to remember from this video is that you should not make the curve of the lower back flat because this will limit your movement and this will create you problem when you are trying to get in contact with your partner. So for us uh, this is it and we really want to thank you for the support that you showed us in the previous three video when we when we did this mini uh, series about common space, common uh, balance, I forgot and common sense and common center. Uh, we read every comment that you leave. Uh, thank you for the donation. Actually, there is the uh, super thanks button under this video. You can use it and we really appreciate that. If you want some specific theme, you can leave in the comment section your request. Okay, we will read them and we will choose the next video. So, see you and bye-bye. Bye-bye.